I'm making myself a magnetic field detector. This is a coil, uh, this is a speaker, and this is a makeshift amplifier. It's based on this circuit. Hi, what I have here is a wall and in this wall I have a cable. This cable goes to a socket and I want to find where exactly the cable is. Let's try first something like this. Let's set sensitivity to high. Yeah, it shows something but I don't know where the cable is to be honest. Somewhere here. It's useless. So maybe let's try, maybe let's try something like this, non-contact voltage detection. Still somewhere around, I don't know where exactly, it's somewhere in the wall, useless. So maybe something like this and to be honest I really like this detector. sensitivity a bit. It's hard to do with one hand. Even more. Still, the area is pretty wide. That's why I made myself a magnetic field detector. All those detectors detect the electric field produced by the wire and this one detects the magnetic field uh, produced when the current flows through a wire. And you can hear precisely where the wire is. What if we disconnect in the socket? I disconnected the socket. It still buzzes because and there's a chain and uh, there are other things connected to this socket. Uh, I will show you the schematic shortly. Uh, you can also uh, hear other magnetic fields. For example, let's hear the magnetic field produced by my phone during recording. But here's my DIY wireless charger, phone charger. You can see the current here. And here's my notebook. alive charging cable and you can see that it detects the magnetic field and maybe some more wires or chargers You will see a schematic shot. It's really simple. Uh, if I were doing it again, I would increase the gain because the gain of 200 is the maximum for LM386 chip. But I think we should do it. It should be done maybe five times more, even ten times more. But it's enough. It's okay. I will be able to, to find cables in walls more easily. By the way, here's the Raspberry Pi. And here you can see the magnetic field produced by an old Nokia phone. And 
here is the charger for this one. And here is our power supply. So yeah, that's it and thanks for watching.